Okay, welcome back. This is our third video for our acoustic speaker uh, for, in SketchUp for Schools. So I've opened SketchUp for Schools. I click on my acoustic speaker and there it is. Previously, I made the front piece, made it a component. I made the phone holder, the phone holder, made it a component. Now we're going to work on the echo chamber. So, similar to before, we're going to move this component on top of that component. We're going to do, use the intersect faces command so that it gives an outline. So, click once to select your component, click the move tool, click once on that bottom corner and place it on the top corner of this piece. Click spacebar or select tool. Uh, we want to select this part, that white part at the bottom. So I'm going to triple click and I'm going to right click it, intersect faces with model. Click on that component again and let's move it out of the way. All right, that's our outline. Now, if you remember from in the classroom, when we were making the echo chamber, we cut out, we cut around the outside of those circles. Uh, we did a line that meet, met in the middle and we also cut just underneath this edge here to allow the sound to come from this piece into this piece. So we're going to do that. And there's a couple of ways you could do that. You could, uh, but I do not suggest it, you could simply freehand your way around. I, found, I find that really difficult. I'm not going to do it. Uh, as you can see what it would look like if I tried it. Well, it's actually, now I'm lying, it's actually working really well. But that's one thing you could do. You could trace your way around. Uh, you could use a series of straight lines. So just underneath this one, draw a straight line. We'll draw a straight line here, and we can work our way around. Remember, this this part's not seen, so it kind of doesn't matter too much what it looks like. But I'm not going to do that either. So I'm doing Control Z to get rid of all that. You could use a series of arcs. This tool here, the two-point arc, we could do arcs around. I find that a little bit awkward. Uh, I'm going to actually use the circle tool. Now, we want to find the center of that circle. So put your cursor, without clicking, up at the top edge where you think the top of that circle is. Move it down, we get that dotted line. That's good. Now we move across to the right hand edge or the left hand edge. Move across and we get that dotted line. And once it automatically get those intersecting dotted lines, we're in the right place. So now I click and I can drag out my circle to the size that I want. So I could type a size in or I can just eyeball it, which is what I'm going to do. We'll do the same over here. So make sure we see that, oh look, that's automatically inferencing that center. So it's it's smart enough to know what I want it to do. So I'm gonna click, do it a little bit larger, done. I think I will use some arcs. So that's this one here, the two point arc. Uh, I think about there, ignore what it's doing in the middle there. That's just showing you that you're touching the edge of a circle. Uh, click and click. I'm going to touch both those edges. Ignore what the blue is showing you yet. That doesn't mean anything yet. And then I can move my cursor to create the arc. So I don't want too sharp. I think that would look good and click. I'm going to get the line tool. I'm going to come down from that edge just a little bit. Click once. 
if I touch the edge and then come down, it'll automatically uh, create a line. Notice that line is green. What that means is, so I'll just finish that line. I can press the space bar now because I don't want to keep drawing straight lines. Well, let me get back to the select tool. Uh, that green meant that that line was parallel with the axis. Uh, we could do lines that are parallel with the red axis or the blue axis as well, and they would change those colours. That just gives you a hint as to whether your line is parallel to an edge or not. I'm going to go back to my arc tool. Now that I've selected it once, it's going to be on easy to find on that toolbar. I'm going to go from the edge somewhere against the edge of my circle. Mm, yeah, that'll do. And Yeah, it's a bit dodgy, but that will do. Now, the Erase tool, we need to get rid of a few of these lines here. I zoom in. That original circle is not needed anymore. Get rid of it all. Don't need that part of it. I don't need that part. Get rid of that. So all we're left with hopefully is a little bit like what happened in our in our practical room and we're actually going to get rid of that as well I don't need that either now I can push pull that shape through to the bottom edge push pull tool click on the shape click once on the bottom edge shape is gone we're going to make it a component so hopefully you remember a triple click it's got it. Intersect faces with model. No, no, not intersect, sorry. Let's triple click and we're making it a component. Uh, this is the echo chamber. And OK. I'm going to add a color to that. I've edited this one already, so now that it has been edited, it'll end up the same. Still looks a little dodgy, but it's going to have to do. While I'm here, I'm going to make this part, the back piece, a component as well. And I will add that same material to that back piece. There are parts. That vi this video is done. Next video, I'll just show you how we move all those pieces together. I'm going to click Save. See you in the next video.